Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today we're in a new game called Anime Destroyers. And this is basically like the anime artifacts replacement after what happened to the anime artifacts update and just the game in general. Now, this game is really cool and I'm really enjoying it. And I played it for like 10 minutes just to go and see if I would make a video on it. And I didn't get too OP just because I wanted to go and record a new to pro on it. So today we're doing a new to pro guys and I will be getting every single game pass in the game. So make sure to subscribe and like and join my Robux group and maybe buy some merch because you know, I spent a lot of Robux on this video. So guys, without further ado, I'm pretty sure we, I already bought VIP on accident. So yeah, we already bought VIP. So let's go and buy teleport. Let's go and buy magnet so we can collect coins instantly. Guys, we're literally getting every single one of these. Um, We, we got sprint as well. Sprint's going to be a very helpful, I guess. Plus two power equipment. That's going to be very handy. And there we go, guys. We've literally got all of them in the game. So guys, we can only have one of the same power equipment. So I kind of got like two fireballs or something or whatever you want to call it i think i need to rejoin to get these game passes to work and actually yeah, we can um sprint if you hold left shift okay guys see so yeah, i'm gonna rejoin real quick right here we are loading back into anime destroy so you guys can see it at the bottom we have the three abilities now so they've obviously loaded up we've got this percentage guys and my goal in this video is while it's new and i can actually go through it pretty fast i want to get the best world and get the like best mythic and everything so guys, okay, yeah, we've got sprint and everything uh it doesn't say we get 10 percent off the capsule but if we open it i'm pretty sure we do get 10 percent off the capsule i feel like they should add merging so we can make like a like a shiny version of like the our powers but yeah, this should be a lot easier grinding, guys. We need 17,000 for the next world. Also, this is like the upgrades menu, and this is how you like increase another way instead of getting power ups. You can click on this, and with coins, you can upgrade your sword. And every time you upgrade it, not only does it go up in damage, but it actually looks different, which I think is really unique. We've also got run speed, we've got cooldown, which is on our abilities, and then we've got health upgrade. Might as well get our health upgrade to 175 there. Now, I'm not sure if there's like the best way to grind coins or anything. I'm not sure if there is an actual way to get coins fast. If it's like to grind these houses or to grind like these guys over here. But the highest HP I've seen is a guy in here that has 150, a pirate king guy. So I guess we'll just go ahead and fight him here and hope we can actually go ahead and kill him. Which I don't think we're going to be able to just because like the other guys killed us basically. But no, we actually did manage to kill him and we only got 500. So guys, I'm going to go with the safe, safe option and just grind out legit. So guys, if we actually look here, we can just spend literally a yen pack and we can just go instantly go to the next world. We can also get boost and everything in here, which is pretty good. So yeah, so I'm going to just grind this out legit. Hopefully, this shouldn't take too long, guys. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like safer and easier and you get coins a lot faster if you just grind over here. Like from the heart, I literally got 300 and there's actually better ones like the houses. I'm 100% going to upgrade my cooldown. There you go. Let's just quickly go into time slaps and get like 10,000 coins. okay guys so we are back and we only did get 5,000, but that's okay guys because what i want to go and do is i want to get enough to get like some better abilities because obviously i want to get like the rare and everything i don't think there's a legendary in here but obviously i want to get some other abilities so actually i got ground slam there that's but i do want to go ahead and get the four percent guys that's obviously what i want and actually we got all of this and i think we can actually turn on fast open but we already have it turned on and i did actually notice there was a healing well here i kind of forgot about that but yeah, I definitely think they should add like merging or something. Because what am I supposed to do with all these other ones? We do actually have two ground slams. And I want the 4%. But it doesn't look like we're going to get it. And yeah, we don't get it. But as we look at ground slam, as you see, it's literally 25 damage. Which is actually insane. And now we can just go ahead and go through and sell all these. I mean, I don't really want to. But there's nothing else we can do with them. Yeah, hopefully this speeds up the progress now. Because uh, now we've got four abilities. And we're using all of our abilities now. The efficiency should be much higher. Yeah, as you see, this one, or oh, my fireball is level 7 and it does 14 damage. This is level 1 and it does 25 damage. Let's go ahead and use it here, and that's actually an awesome attack. The recharge is quite high, though, guys, but you know what? I don't want this video to be too long, and I definitely want to get this out quite early, because normally I post quite late, and you guys prefer it if I post early. So, pretend you never saw this. We're just going to go ahead and get 32,000 yen here. And, I, wait, is this called yen? I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is yen. And let's just go to uh, Planet Narmet. So guys, this is the Dragon Ball Z world, and the next world costs 150,000, which is a lot more. And the power capsule here costs 3,500, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and upgrade that one more time. And then we're going to spend, we're going to open two right here, and let's just go ahead and see what we get. So we get uh, Goku's attack, and then yeah. 
So yeah, already this does 75 damage and this does 40 damage. So yeah, already you can already see the difference. When they level up, I feel like they should sell for more. Yeah, guys, actually, we now have these cool little attacks. So let's go ahead and try them out here. So now if we wanted to, we could just buy the next world again. But yeah, guys, actually, the four soldier right there. And damn, that's actually insane. So actually, we can use the disc and everything. And they do actually do a lot of damage to us. We almost died there because I wasn't really paying attention. So yeah, these abilities are awful now compared to these. So yeah, actually, these are actually insane. I still, like the, I still feel like the sword is a lot stronger than the abilities, in a way. And the power level cap is 10 on a power, so we can only get these to level 10. Which I think doubles the damage of the power. Because actually, we're going to do uh, Piccolo's quest here, and hopefully it gives us quite a lot of points. And I'm not actually going to go ahead and buy another ability, because if I waste 3,500 and get something bad again, I think it's just going to be a waste. It actually says I don't have the 30% when I do. I've actually got one of the best ones. We need to kill 10 four soldiers. So guys, we just killed one here. And how fast does it actually heal us? Yeah, this does us really slow. It'd be cool if there's like an upgrade in the section where we could upgrade our healing. Uh, and it just like upgrades how fast this heals us. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go like against what I said. And I'm actually going to go ahead and buy another thing. Because we don't have the most common one. So if we're actually unlucky, it's going to be better. And we got the rare again. Guys, that's just too lucky. But we actually have to sell it because we can't use it. So actually, we do basically get it back. And let's go ahead and get another one. And we get the destruction disc. Why? So yeah, guys, that is pretty unlucky, guys. But I definitely want to go ahead and finish off this quest. So I'm going to be back once we're done with the quest. So guys, I've literally changed nothing different. I haven't got any, like upgraded anything and i'm literally getting like better at using the abilities it's like you want to learn the order of your abilities guys to so say something that's like a long distance i'm going to go ahead and use this first because it takes long to use the ability and then i can instantly use this one pretty fast and then i can switch to my sword just make it a little bit faster guys but actually i can claim the quest now and that only gave 500 that was useless guys actually we can up or like open one more and we get another destruction disc guys i hate this so guys i'm gonna go further into the world and look for like a better object you guys the fences here actually have a lot of hp as you guys can see and the offenses in the last one have like i think they had 40 and this one has 300 so that's actually a pretty big difference guys so if, if we go ahead and kill every like kill one here we actually do get quite a lot and here is a house that has literally 900 health i'm about to kill it here as you guys can see and I did actually go ahead and upgrade some of my abilities as well. Obviously, they just upgraded the goes. And that only gave 1,000. So I honestly think we have too much, guys. But if we look at our powers, now that now it's level 2, it went up like over 5 damage. And guys, you know what? I'm going to risk it for the last time. What did we get? Oh my gosh. But because we sold it, we're just going to be able to open another one. And we got the Mythic. How? I have no clue. And it does 140 damage. Honestly, this game's just luck-based. So I'm going to go and test this out here. And yeah, that's actually OP. It does a total of like over 140 damage i think guys so instead of grinding just to speed up the process and so i can actually get this video out today i'm just gonna go ahead and buy the robot thing guys because i feel like we've spent like i've been recording 40 minutes and guys this is the best world in the game right now let's go and see what this is on oh, this is the city of dragonborn i'm pretty sure i don't watch dragon ball so don't blame me on that guys but yeah we're just gonna go open the capsule and hope you get a mythic so we've got the best thing in the game guys can we get the best thing in the game right now let's go ahead and find out right now guys can we get it we get the gallic gun right, after all that did we get anything guys and boom we got a mythic guys but it isn't the best mythic in the game so guys we literally got the new stuff guys let's go and see the damage on this and for the worst one it's issue 200 this is the mythic that's 450 then we've got the thunderstorm and then we've got the dark lightning blast and we've got the gallic gun so yeah guys this ability looks really cool ready so let's go ahead and test this out here and that's actually really cool so guys, we can go and open three more. So let's go ahead and do that. One more. Can we get it? No. yes we got it that's the last bit i guess we just upgrade our sword here and wow but where is it where is it here it is spirit bomb 850 damage that was worth it but the worst one we have is the dark lightning blast let's get rid of that and let's get the where is it gone spirit bomb right guys now i'm generally just guessing that it's a spirit bomb let's go and use it here and yep exactly what i thought 
So yeah, this seems to be extremely OP leveled up. Actually, we can just like it can kill multiple things, like a lot of multiple things at a time. So yeah. So this thing can probably hit like a few enemies at once. I'm gonna say a few, uh, probably a lot. So the best area for grinding with this, I'm guessing, is gonna be like right here. If you use it here, it hits all of these three houses and these guys here. Right, I'm not sure if these hit the NPCs. I'll see right now. Let's go and see. Do they hit the NPCs? I uh, know they don't, just about. But guys, we finally got the best thing in the game here, which is pretty insane. And we actually maxed our melee knife, which is also pretty cool. We can actually get our speed up and everything else up, so yeah. Yeah, guys, finally we got the best thing in the game. So this could be a good spot for grinding. I want to see how much I can hit with this. I can hit three here. If I do it right here, I believe I could hit four. The mythic doesn't have, or the first mythic doesn't have a much radius compared to this thing. So guys, obviously we need to get the cooldown down here, like far down. So guys, I'm guessing we could just send this to the other side of the map. So if we just click like this... Wow, that actually looks so cool. So this is like the ultimate way of grinding. Walking around the map, decimating everything. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for the video. If you guys do want more videos in this game, make sure to like and subscribe with notifications on. I'm going to spend the next few hours editing this video, guys. So yeah, make sure to drop a like. I do spend a lot of time on these videos. But yeah, see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, guys.